Imagine this. You're sitting in a classroom and your teacher poses a question that can change your life forever. How many of you would raise your hand with no hesitation? That's what I thought. Well, this is precisely what happened to me as a high schooler. And that one simple act changed the entire trajectory of, of my career. To my visionaries everywhere, today I want to unravel my journey from that pivotal moment to where I stand today as an inventor, entrepreneur, and all around nerd. I want to explore with you the power of being bold, having a vision, and the importance of being a kid again. So let me explain. During my junior year of high school, my chemistry teacher came into class one day and asked if any of us had any interest to sign up for a science fair. Now I'd had this burning passion for STEM, but specifically the hands-on portion. Learning all of these new concepts with the purpose of bridging them together through invention. So my hand went up in the air with no hesitation at all, and my teacher pulled me aside later on and asked if I knew what my research topic would be. I looked at her, and I took this as my moment to express to her my love for Grey's Anatomy and how that would inspire me to pursue a research topic in the healthcare industry. Nonetheless, the lesson here to my visionaries everywhere is that you can literally pull inspiration from anywhere. So I decided to develop color-changing stitches to detect infections. The goal here was to create an equitable solution for the world's most vulnerable communities most susceptible to surgical site infections. Fast forward, I spent months developing a prototype to present in these science fairs, and the craziest things started to happen. I started winning. I started winning top prizes in regional and state fairs, and this traction propelled me to apply for the most prestigious science competition known to man. My senior year, I applied to the Regeneron Science Talent Search, and that year, out of over 2,500 applicants, I advanced all the way to the top 40 finalists. Thank you. Now, my journey through these various competitions landed me in the mainstream media circuit, from hanging out with Ellen DeGeneres to features in People Magazine to film crews at my home. I am now a famous nerd, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm now building a startup dedicated to creating equitable medical technology for our world's most vulnerable communities. The mission is the same. Now, through this journey, as an inventor, entrepreneur, and all-around girl boss, I've learned a few things. So, whether you are a young visionary or an older visionary who needs a reminder, I brought it upon myself to share with you three fundamental truths I've had to embrace to become the person I am today. Number one. You never need permission to speak with the CEO. Now, listen to me closely. Bring it in. This is not for the Karens of the world. Please use this responsibly. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this truth derives from my mother, who stands as the embodiment of strength in my eyes. Her influence during my upbringing nurtured this unshakable sense of empowerment within me. This notion that my voice holds weight and that I'm unequivocally entitled to take up space. In light of this, through my personal evolution, I've learned that I hold this innate power that no external force can diminish. Now that tool specifically has profoundly shaped my journey as I walk into rooms that are not historically made for me. So let me share a quick personal story with you. Last year, I was at the largest conference that I've ever attended, a speaker, in fact, amongst the nation's top medical professionals. I'm talking 
former U.S. Surgeon Generals, directors of government agencies, um, the CEOs of our nation's top medical systems. And there I was, this young person, 18 at the time, just trying her best to learn and absorb and make strides in the med tech industry. And I made it a point, before I even stepped foot on campus, that I was going to talk to every single person I could get my hands on. And that mindset shift worked. I was speaking with CEOs of our nation's top medical systems for breakfast, directors of NGOs in the afternoon, and the director of the CDC at night. I was speaking with all of these people, and here's the thing that we often forget. CEOs, directors, principals, teachers, they're just people. They're people in powerful positions and with a ton of knowledge. So if we are able to break out of our shell and just reach out, these people in these powerful positions are more than willing to fuel our curiosity and answer our questions. We often get hung up on our age, our current position, our background, where we come from. But that's not what matters. What matters is our drive, the ambition, the initiative. That is what matters, and that is what will get you that meeting. So you should never forget. You should never ask for permission to speak with the CEO. Number two. You should be intentional with your vision, but not rigid in your journey. As you set sail towards your greatness, it's important to acknowledge that the path may not unfold as you'd expect. Being rigid in your journey hinders you to see the opportunities that lie just beyond your field of view. Now, don't get it twisted. Flexibility does not equate diluting your ambition, but rather just the opposite. It should inspire you to adapt, to innovate, and to optimize your path. By being intentional with your vision, yet flexible in your approach, you'll find this divine equilibrium that will propel you towards your greatness. Now, I'd never tell you anything that I don't practice myself, so here's my 2022 vision board. I'm serious. <laughs> I found these amazing artistic portraits of Stacey Abrams, Senator Elizabeth Warren, and Vice President Kamala Harris in an Essence article. And the thought at the time was, wouldn't it be cool to work with them somehow, to collaborate in some way? I didn't know how it would happen, if it would ever happen, with whom I would speak to to make this happen. I had no idea, but it was a simple thought, and up on the board they went. As I began working diligently in my business, answering emails, following leads, continuing to network, an opportunity fell into my lap. In February of 2022, less than six weeks after this vision board was built, I had the opportunity to collaborate on a social media campaign with Vice President Kamala Harris. Thank you. In the upper right-hand corner, it's hard to see, but you'll see books. Now, I didn't know if this meant that I would read more books, that didn't happen. If I would write books, that also didn't happen. But it became clear in October of that year that I would be featured in a book. An international publication identifying 100 inspiring young change makers who are changing the world in their own right. Beyond that, I was able to have the book signing of my dreams at the Grove in Los Angeles, as well as in my own community of Iowa City. Crazy. Now, Oprah also is on this list, on this vision board. I didn't know, same thinking, I didn't know how I was gonna be in her orbit, if we were ever gonna collaborate, but simple thought, so up on the board she went. Just under the wire, in December of 2022, that same book that I was featured in made its way to Oprah's favorite things list just in time for Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the third truth I'd like to share with you 
is my favorite, and it is that you should take recess breaks. Just as crucial as the strategic steps you take to accomplish your goal is the art of indulging in recess breaks. Do you ever remember in elementary school when the bell would ring and you would find solace on the playground, perhaps even reading a book or playing kickball? Reflecting on that same memory, do you grant yourself the same reprieve these days? I do, every single day. Every day, I dedicate an unstructured, unscheduled interval of my day to a dance party. Yes, a dance party, you heard me right. And as silly as that may sound, no, I will not be demonstrating. <laughs> but as silly as that may sound, those dance parties serve as my modern day recess breaks that give me a break from reality and allow me to reinvigorate my mind and my creativity. So I implore you to find a recess break of your own. And I guarantee you our, our days can be a thousand percent better if we make intentional steps to refill our creative reservoir. Now, as you set sail in your journey, I want you to hold these truths close. That you never need permission to speak with the CEO, ever, not for the Cairns. That you should be intentional with your vision, yet flexible in your approach. And that you should always, always, always take recess breaks. Take it from me, a teen inventor with a fascination for Grey's Anatomy turned girl boss. Can I level with you for a minute? Truth be told, the world is waiting for your contribution, your invention, your vision. And I would love to be on that journey with you as we embark to become sources of inspiration, beacons of hope, and hopefully, catalysts for change. Thank you so much.